Hi guys, uh, today we are going to continue solving system of, of linear equations. Uh, in this case, I'm going to show you how can we uh, know if our system has one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions. Uh, for that, I provide three different system of linear equations. Then let's start with the first one, uh, one solution. Then when our system that we are solving has one solution, then um, of course we can uh, get the answer. Then let's start to solve. Uh, this system, um, uh, it's possible to solve by uh, elimination. It, I think elimination is going to be the easiest method. In this case, then we can uh, multiply the first equation by negative 1 on left and by negative 1 on right. Then it's going to be negative 1 times y times x plus y. And now on right, it's going to be equal negative 7 times negative 1. Uh, this is applied the application of the property of equality. That means that you have to multiply by the same number in both parts of the equation. Then if we multiply by negative 1, then of course the answer is going to be negative x minus y and on right is going to be equal to a positive 7 because negative 7 and negative 1 is going to be positive 7. Okay, now the first equation, this is the new first equation and we have to add, according to the elimination method, we have to add with the uh, second equation. Then let's add, cross the line and we have to uh, collect the like terms. In this case, negative 7, negative x plus positive 3 is going to be positive 2. Uh, negative y and positive y is going to be 0. Then it's going to be cancelled. That's why the name is elimination. And on right, 7 plus negative 9 is going to be negative 2. Okay, we have to continue the process to isolate the only variable now, that is x. Applying the property of equality one more time, dividing in both sides of the equations of the equation by a positive 2. Divided by 2 is going to be x equals negative 1. Okay, now we have to uh, continue finding uh, the other variable. We find already x, now we have to find y. Uh, when we find one variable, in this case x, we find already, we can uh, choose one equation, equation 1 on equation 2. In this case, I uh, choose a, a equation number one that is x plus y equals negative seven, and then we have to re replace x value in that equation and isolate y. Then let's do it. It's going to be negative one because x is negative one, and plus y equals negative seven. It's, it's exactly the same. Just replacing, just replacing a x value. Now let's start the process to isolate. To isolate y in this case, we have to apply one more time the property of equality. In this case, uh, the number that we have to cancel is negative 1. Then we have to add 1 in both sides of the equation. Then plus 1 on left, plus 1 on, on, on right. And uh, of course, the answer is going to be that y is going to be completely alone on, on left. And on right is going to be... Mm, uh, negative 6 because negative 7 plus 1 is going to be negative 6. Uh, then our solution is going to be negative 1, that is x value, and negative 6, that is y value. Remember that always the solution we have to provide uh, or we have to uh, express the solution in alphabet order. Then x is first and y is the second one. Okay. That's the case when we have one solution. Of course, the only solution in this case is negative 1 and negative 6. That means that the only variables, the only numbers that apply for this system of linear equation that solve this system is when x is negative 1 and when y is negative, x, uh, negative 6. That's the case when we have one solution, the normal, normal process and normal solution. Now, we have to understand or have to identify what happened when our system has no solution. Okay, then in this case, our system, I think the easiest, the suitable method to solve this system of linear equation is substitution. And the reason is because equation number one, equation one, it's a one 
variable is already isolated, then we have to replace just in the second variable, in the second equation, and follow the process. Okay? Then, in this case, let's do it. The second equation is 2x plus y um, equals 4, but if we replace y value according to the first equation, then 2x plus, and in brackets is replacing, negative 2x plus 3 is going to be equals to 4. What I did just is uh, was replacing, replacing y value. Now, let's continue. Of course, in this case, we can... Um, we can uh, disappear the, the parentheses because it's just an addition. Then it's going to be negative, uh, it's going to be positive 2 minus uh, 2x, positive 2x minus 2x plus 3 is going to be equal to 4. Now we have to collect the like terms. In this case, it's uh, 2x and negative 2x. And of course, the answer is going to be 3 equals 4. But what happened in this case that is different for the first example? when we have one solution. In this case, we can notice that both variables disappear. Y and X are vanished in this, in this, in this case. Then that is the first thing that is indicating that, that something is different in this exercise. Okay, then first condition, remember both variables disappear. And second condition, we get at the end that three is equals to four. But everybody knows that that's wrong because 3 is equal to 3 and 4 is equal to 4. Then in this case, how this sentence is wrong, then we say that there is no solution because 3 is not equal to 4, of course. Then in this case, it's because our system, the original system, has no solution. Now let's talk about the uh, third case. In the third case, I provide a, a, the system for x plus 6y equals uh, 8 and the second equation of the system 2x plus 3y equals 4. Okay, uh, if uh, we have to start solving by any method, in this case I think the suitable is going to be the uh, elimination method. Then by elimination we can uh, choose the variable that we are going to eliminate. For example, if I, I'm going to eliminate x, then we can uh, multiply we use the multiplication principle that is multiply the first equation by the coefficient for the x in the second um, uh, equation. In this case, the first equation multiplied by 2 and the second equation multiplied by the coefficient for the same for the first variable for the first equation. In this case, it's 4 and change the sign for one of them. But also, as we can see that if we are going to eliminate x, we can also multiply the second equation by negative 2 and x is going to be cancelled. Okay, then. It's exactly the way that I'm going to apply. Then let's multiply the second equation by negative 2, applying the property of equality on left and on right. Okay? And, um, of course, using the distributive property, that's going to be negative 4, because negative 2 times 2x is negative 4, and negative 2 times uh, 3y is negative, four, negative 6y, and on right, 4 times negative 2 is going to be negative 8. Now, we have to, according to the elimination method, we have to uh, add equation 1 and equation 2, the new equation 2, that is the, the, this one that we find already. Uh, okay, then if we had to add equation 1 and the new equation 2, then cross the line and let's do it. Remember, this is a multiplication, uh, sorry, this is an addition, then let me put the sign, because I, I forgot to put the sign, then plus. Okay, now, 4x plus negative 4x is going to be 0. Uh, positive 6y minus um, 6y is 0. And 8 minus 8 on right is going to be 0. Then in this case, what we have that uh, on right, and on left is going to be equals to zero. In this case, one more time, both variables disappear. But in this case, the final sentence is zero equal to zero. And of course, zero is equal to zero. That is the difference with the, when the system has no solution. Then in this case, our conclusion is, yes, the system has solution. How many solutions? Infinitely many solutions. There are many numbers that that uh, is possible to replace x and y. And it's going to uh, be true or make true this system. Okay? Thank you.